This is Nettie. I hope everything is great with you. I am popping in to share a little bit of encouragement and uh, a little mother wit uh, that have just really been pertinent for me and I hope they may be helpful to you. Y'all, I, I am in a shopping season and for some people that might be a cool thing. For those of you that love to shop, I am not one. Shopping is not fun because I hate spending money. I hate is strong. I dislike spending money. I'm frugal. And um, aside from grocery shopping, which I thoroughly enjoy in QVC and Amazon, but I realized that I like grocery shopping because it has to do with food and I love food. So that kind of overrides the dis disease with, uh, you know, giving people money. Amazon and QVC, I don't really feel like I'm spending money and that can be dangerous. But I have to go into stores to replace everything from dish towels and I mean toilet uh, bowl cleaner holders and I mean literally there's just a lot of stuff that has to be replaced so that's a lot of shopping and for the past couple of days I've been doing big ticket items like um, furniture that's what I'm doing today and bedding and all of that kind of stuff well the other day um, I, I, I time things based on sales so to make it easier and to get past my frugality um, I shop sales a lot. I'm the chick that's going to have waited for the sale. I'm going to price compare, price match. I'm going to have coupons and I'm going to ask for a promo. I'm that chick. And I really work it. To give you a really quick example. So when we were doing appliances, I waited to see when is the season and what is the timing of when they really put, you know, appliances on sale. So I went in during the sale time and found, had you know pre watched and picked out the kinds of things that we wanted so when that sale time came I went in and the sale price was good but I had also discovered a couple of months prior that if you go to like Home Depot and you sign up as for a pro account like contractors that's what contractors get you can put in a bid where they bid pricing to get your job it has to be a large amount of money a relatively large amount of money and then they get the prices low so I had signed up for a pro account so I got the sale price, but then I had them bid it. So I got our kitchen appliances for almost $5,000 cheaper than the already lower sale price. Come on now. Like this, this is my jam. I'm good at this, right? So um, President's Day is typically when they put bedding and things like that on good sale. So I went to go, we had bought our bed and um, I went uh, Will and I went and did that together and then I went by myself and did the bedding y'all I found these beautiful beautiful crisp Egyptian cotton sheets they were moderately priced for the quality they're really good quality so they were moderately priced at like 220 or something like that y'all I got them for 7499 I got a sale and a coupon I also got a down comforter that was a couple hundred bucks for $89.99. Y'all, I was working it. I got our headboard for one third of the price. So I was so excited. I got in the car. You know, Will wasn't with me, but I was, you know, I had to share. So the first thing I grabbed my phone and I went to call my mama. And I froze. I was like, oh. This isn't the first time that I reached for my phone and called my mama. And it probably won't be the last time. But here's the difference. This is the first time when I went to call my mom and instead of that being followed with sorrow and tears when, you know, and instead of it going into a sad thing, this time after I took that moment and took a deep breath, there was a smile. And I was like, oh, you know, and, and and I, you know, I called Will. It wasn't the same. You know, he didn't get excited like my mama would have. Mama would have been like, "Oh, tell me all about." She loved to shop, and she loves you know quality things. And she really would have gotten into it with me and stuff. But, but I was able to smile and and just think of her and not have it be filled with. I was able to think of and miss her and not have it be a sorrowful thing, but to be a thing that brought a smile to my face and my heart. And y'all. That was the first time that that particular thing has happened, and I'm grateful for it. So I'm sharing that to be hopefully an encouragement to those that may be going through a rough time of grief and bereavement. You know, gr bereavement and grief, it, it's different for everybody. It takes different people, different amounts of time. And I know I'm not there yet, but y'all, this was the first time that 
that I was able to have that smile instead of a tear. And I just want to encourage you that things can get better and they will get better in your time and in and, and just go with it. Know that it can get better. And I hope that's encouraging because um, it seems like every time I go to church or I hear people or everybody's bereaved and all of this. And there's just a lot of folks going through. And I just want you to know it can and will get better. Hold on. The other thing is, is that I, I've been, you know, thinking about my mom a lot as I'm going through this because she loved to shop. And mama had, um, she also had some wisdom that she shared with me that I think is kind of really helpful. And as I go and make these painful large purchases, I'm going to remember this. One of the things that my mama always kind of set me, and I don't remember the exact words, but here's the general meaning of what she would say. She said that when it comes to big things, be it decisions, purchases, you know, stuff like that, choices you're making in your life, she was like, don't go with the get by. Sometimes we rush and we just get what we think is good enough, but good enough is not always good enough. Mama used to say, sometimes it's better to go without and to wait until you're able to get what you really want. You can get quality. And when you do, take care of it, and then you'll be able to enjoy it for a lifetime. I'm going to say that again. Don't go with the get by. Good enough is not always good enough. Sometimes it's better to wait until you can get what you want, until you can get quality, then take care of it, and you can enjoy it for a lifetime. And I saw that. You know, just when we were in Chicago, um, end of the year, end of December, um, like end of last year, closing out things with Mama's house, I it was kind of it was kind of like I just saw it in action when or in truth when I saw that she had like KitchenAid mixer that was a couple of dec decades old, and even though Mama had like reupholstered furniture, but like the dining room set and there were pieces of furniture in that house that I know was older than me, and I'm almost half a century. But she bought quality and she took care of it and it lasts. And so I'm taking that wisdom with me to moderate my frugality when we go shopping. And it, that means that if, you know, if I have to invest and, and push past that and be reasonable with that, I will. And it also means that if they don't have something that's quality, I don't want wood veneers and all that. If they don't have what I want... We can go without for a while until I'm able to find that in a way so that we can get what we want. I'll take care of it, enjoy it for our lifetime. Y'all, that applies not only to shopping. Think of other areas where that kind of concept of resisting the rush and allowing patience to pay off and valuing, val valuing quality over value, that kind of sort of thing, or expedience. Think about other areas in our life where that can pay off. I mean, of course, being a woman, what comes to mind is I know a lot of sisters, we, we probably have been there before, you know, where sometimes, you know, when it comes to a man, good enough isn't good. It, it, is, it isn't always good enough. Sometimes it's better to be alone instead of the getting by with the get by. You know, wait, wait for quality. Wait for that one that you really want and that you need and that's going to be good for you. You know, the right one, not just anyone. And then once you have them, take care of them and enjoy them for a lifetime. This can apply to decisions that we have to make. Y'all, where in your life can this mama wit of resisting the rush and letting patience pay off be of benefit for you? Yes, indeed. I'm taking mama with me in this right now. And, and I hope that this bit of mama wit from my mama, Mama Maxwell, is helpful for you. I'd love to hear um, and share with me and just uh, if that's a help to you. Before I get off, there's one more thing. Um, I have been hard on myself this past year because, um, you know, when God, God puts teaching in you, when that's kind of something that you do, whenever stuff happens to me and I'm like, because I'm slow on the uptake, so by the time I finally get it, and I'm kind of like, oh man, this was really helpful. The immediate thing that's just like burning in me is that I want to share it with other people because I want, if it helped me, I'm hopeful that it will help other people. It's just, it's like second nature for me. And I haven't been doing that as much because I guess I've been taking the time to get through what I've been getting through. And I've been, you know, 
healing and I just haven't had that time to put things out. I would record and have ideas and write down notes and I just haven't been putting out the content as much as God has been giving me and I was beating myself up. But recently, Holy Spirit kind of reminded me that that there is a lot of content that I, I already have up and out and I blogged for several years. There's literally hundreds of posts about faith, food, fitness, family, fun, even some like, you know, silliness and things like that. But I have a ton of content on NettieJohnson.com. And so while I'm working on new things to come out, I do also have, um, I went through a website re, re, re elevation, like I'm rebuilding and elevating my home. I did that with the website and our Christian wellness organization. And I love it. If you pop on over to NettieJohnson.com, N-E-T-T-Y-E Johnson.com and take a look at the new look. Um, we're trying to make it more um, easy to navigate and more helpful. And I'd love if you would share feedback about it with me and if you would share the site with others. And dig in, particularly into the blog, there's a lot of information that, you know, is still pertinent. God's truth is true all the time. And there are lessons and helpful pieces of information that um, I'm going to pull from the archives, but dig in. And, and I hope that there are some things there that can be a blessing to you. So please, it would be a blessing to me if you take a look at, our, at the website update, NettieJohnson.com, share feedback with me, share the website with others, and um, I will be sharing, um, God willing, and as he enables more as we go forward. So good things are coming, y'all. So pray for me as I go shopping and uh, resist the rest. Let patience pay off. Um, get things that are of value in your life. Experiences, decisions, items, people that are of value. Take care of them and enjoy them for a lifetime. That's it. Take care. God bless. Be well. Love you. Bye.